In this video, I plan to tackle two tough topics, palliative care and hospice in the setting of multiple sclerosis. If you'd like to learn more, don't turn away because that starts right now. Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits. And it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. Today's topic is palliative care and hospice care for people impacted by MS. At this point, I have remade this video three times. After reviewing it, I wasn't able to publish it. I just said, that's not it. And I started thinking about why. And it's because this is an uncomfortable topic in some respects. It's a topic that I think a lot of people, including doctors, are uncomfortable talking about. And yet that doesn't make a lot of sense because Everyone dies. All people die. I will die. You will die. And I want to try to tackle this topic. Uh, so if you're willing, join me. And I'm going to discuss first palliative care, what it is, um, what it means to people and families with MS. And then I'll turn my attention to uh, hospice care. Again, answering the same question. What does hospice have to do with multiple sclerosis? So starting off with palliative care. Palliative care is an approach that improves the quality of life of patients and their families facing the problems associated with a life-threatening illness through the prevention and relief of suffering by means of early identification and impeccable assessment and treatment of pain and other problems, physical, psychological, and spiritual. That's a lot to unpack. For starters, please understand that palliative care or palliation of symptoms is really trying to optimize or improve someone's life. It's trying to reduce pain and, and make them have the most quality life they can. It actually has nothing to do with prognosis. So you don't have to be dying to be uh, eligible for palliative care. Palliative care is best understood, I think, if you think of it as a layer of care put on top of the already ongoing care. And palliative care happens in parallel to treatments aimed at curing a condition uh, or slowing a, a disease. And so really palliative care is something that should be very germane to MS practitioners, MS teams, and people impacted by MS. Here I work at an interdisciplinary comprehensive MS center. So at our center we have a team and we place the patient in the center of the team and then we bring resources to that patient and that family. And I've talked about this in other videos. We have physical therapists, occupational therapists, registered dietitians, we have social workers, we have MS specialists, we have uh, dedicated MS nurses, we have amazing MS nurse practitioners, we have clinical trial coordinators, etc. My, my point here is we have a village of resources and we bring them to the patient. Palliative care does the exact same thing. It uses a team approach, just like I described, and it, it occurs to help the patient and the family and it occurs independent from efforts of trying to slow or beat a disease. So when I think about managing MS, I always think about the need to do two things. We have to try to slow the disease or halt the disease, and that's really what we do with disease-modifying therapies. Taking a disease-modifying therapy doesn't improve symptoms. It doesn't make the person feel better. Um, it doesn't really impact quality of life in that way. It's intended to change the long-term history of the disease, to change the natural history. At the same time that we apply disease-modifying therapies, we need to optimize that person. We need to improve their quality of life and make them the most awesome version of them possible despite having MS. This is really honing in on symptoms. Pain, depression, bladder, bowel, spasticity, etc. And so that is in essence palliative care and it's a beautiful thing and it can really help people. I now want to turn our attention to hospice care. Hospice is really end-of-life care. In order to qualify to participate in hospice, a doctor needs to declare that if the disease you have runs its natural course, you could die in six months. 
Now, if you enroll in hospice and make it six months, they don't kick you out. Uh, at any point in time, the doctor can reevaluate. And if it is still reasonable to consider that you could die within six months, if your disease runs its course, then you continue in hospice. So in essence, if you enter into hospice, most commonly you stay in hospice where you receive resources until you pass. Just like with palliative care, there is a comprehensive team. The big difference between palliative care, as I've described it, and hospice is the focus. When you enter in a hospice, you're no longer focused on trying to cure the disease or slow the condition. You're exclusively focused on quality of life. A non-MS example would be someone with a terminal cancer diagnosis, where it's clear that further chemotherapy or radiation will not keep them alive. In this case, they might choose to stop radiation and chemo, moved into a hospice environment where their focus is palliation, palliative care, where their focus is controlling pain, uh, controlling shortness of breath, etc. And so this is very applicable at the end of life for people and families with MS. Hospice care can occur anywhere. It can occur in your home. It can occur at a nursing facility, it can occur at an assisted living facility, it can occur in the hospital, and it can also occur in dedicated hospice facilities. If I speak for a second from personal experience, having gone through the loss of my grandparents, when my family opted to use hospice, it was a much better experience. I feel like it was a better experience for my grandmother, and I feel like it was a better experience for my entire family. Now, in summary, Palliative care and hospice care are wonderful resources when appropriate. And all too often, I think that patients and families simply shy away from these topics. And so it's my hope that this video helps shed some light on that. Now, I have a question of the day for you. It's my hope that through this video, you gain some education and some comfort with the topic. After watching this, would you be more comfortable talking to your doctor about issues related to palliative care and hospice? Please leave your answer down in the section below. If you feel like this video was helpful to you and you would like to see further content from me, please consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, until my next video, take care.